PHP-CK Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn what is Python, right? So here I have broken a answer of this question in different points and we will try to understand each and every point, right? This will give you the clear visibility what is Python, yeah? So let's start. So first point says, uh, Python is an interpreted object-oriented high-level programming language with dynamic uh, dynamic semantics right so uh, when you look into the python right when you write the python code then directly that's get interpreted right so it's not a, a, a like a other programming language like java uh, first of all you write uh, java code then that gets converted into a byte code and byte code uh, is interpreted and then you get the output but if you have a python code Right, so you write the Python code with extension py and directly you can run the Python code, source code itself. Right now, let's go to the next point. Uh, next point says uh, Python has high level built in data structures combined with dynamic typing, dynamic binding, make it very attractive for rapid application development as well as for use as a scripting or glue language, which is a kind of uh, I would say a scripting language in Python to connect existing components together, right? So when we talk about the Python, Python is not just not a programming language. Uh, it is also a scripting, a scripting language like Glue, right? You can write uh, some kind of a script and you can schedule it so that that will run at the particular time, right? So Python also provides uh, various kind of data structure, right? And uh, when we talk about the dynamic binding, right? So, uh, if you compare with the other programming language like C, C++, Java, uh, every data type, uh, when you declare one something, some data type, then you need to declare that uh, uh, data, when you declare some kind of data, then you need to specify the data type as well. But it's not the case with the Python. In Python, if you assign some value, then that is going to basically recognize what kind of uh, data, let's say you have a variable x you can assign some kind of number or some kind of a string and that is going to identify at runtime not at the compile time itself yeah now let's go to the next point uh, next point says uh, python is easy to learn syntax emphasizes readability and therefore reduces the cost of program maintenance right so when you learn uh, uh, Python then you don't need to specify basically all kind of braces or and semicolon right in some other programming language like C, C++, Java or some other programming language uh, you have certain kind of when you define a function or method then you need to uh, give the open uh, starting uh, curly brace and closing curly brace at the end and every statement has to end with the semicolon but it's not like uh, no, it's, it's not like in Python. Python, you don't need to specify any kind of semicolon or open brace and close brace, etc. Right? So that basically uh, saves a lot of time uh, to a developer. Right? Now let's go to the next point. Uh, next point says uh, Python supports uh, models and packages, which encourages program uh, modularity and code reuse. So Python has a lot of packages, right? And based on the your requirement, you uh, can use different kind of pa pa packages, which basically uh, basically promotes the uh, uh, program modularity. Yeah, and that also basically uh, we can use for the reusability purpose. Now next point says uh, the Python interpreter and the extensive standard libraries are available in. Uh, source or a binary form without a uh, charge for all major platforms and can be freely distributed so of course python is completely uh, freeware uh, python library of course you can download uh, free of cost without paying any single penny and you can use it uh, without uh, paying any cost right so that's uh, also one of the very good advantages uh, advantage of uh, python right so here we are not going to explore only what is Python, but uh, meanwhile, uh, some, uh, at the same time, we are also trying to understand uh, basically what are the advantages of Python as well, right? Now let's go to the next point. Next point, Sage, uh, programmers basically fall in love with the Python uh, because of increased productivity it provides. Since there is no compilation step, the 
uh, edit test debug cycle is incredibly fast right then uh, when you use python right then uh, your program is not going to compile uh, your source code is directly going to give the output right so like in uh, java uh, let's say if, if, if you came from the java background then you know you might know when you write a source code in java then source code first compiles into the bytecode and then you your bytecode is interpreted and then you get the output but these things happens uh, at a time in the uh, basically uh, python right so that is also uh, one of the good advantage in case of uh, python right python uh, when we talk about the exception handling python uh, catch the exception the interpreter points uh, when you use uh, internally basically interpreter uh, prints a stack trace a source level debugger allows inspection of local and global variables evaluation of arbitrary expressions setting breakpoints stepping through code uh, a line at a time and so on the debugger is written in python itself uh, testifying to python's uh, introspective power right so uh, these are the basically points uh, basically i wanted to discuss with you uh, in terms uh, of what is python and uh, what are the benefits we get from the python yeah now let's talk about the history of the python right so python was conceived in late 1980s and its implementation was started in december uh, 1989 by guido van roshan guido van roshan is a dutch programmer uh, best known as a creator of uh, python programming language when i say dutch programming means it belongs to netherlands in 1994 python 1 was released now when we talk about the next version of python then python 2 was released in october 2000 with uh, many major new features including cycle detecting uh, garbage collector and support for unicode now when we talk about the latest version of Py uh, python so python 3 was released on uh, december 2008 and uh, this is the one of the latest version so far so when you go to the python uh, official website then here you can see uh, you can have various release of uh, python 3 as of now right uh, here you can see the release date of uh, python 3 and uh, if you want to see what are the uh, features have been added in the uh, different versions of python 3 right then you can go to the release notes right and as of now 3.9 is the uh, latest version of python which was released in uh, december 7 2020 right so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial